So uh, I guess to start off, you know what I'm saying, just uh, introduce yourself, let us know where y'all from, you know what I'm saying, and what's your uh, position in the music business right now. That's what Shit, I'm youngin'. Part of that DJ my ass squad, you already know. From bad news uptown. You know how we rockin'. You know what it is, young males, man. Dre drive to the duck uptown shit. SL slime to You know how we rockin'. Money collision coming. Coming real soon. Y'all ain't even ready for that. I don't think they're ready for that. <laughs> yeah, shit. So uh as far as music videos. Y'all got what, like, y'all did four with me now? Yeah, four, four music videos. Yeah, so I can definitely see, you know what I'm saying, y'all tenacity. I mean, I'm tenacious, you know what I'm saying, but I see y'all tenacity with that. Cause uh, I know we shot those four videos probably within the last four months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got artists I've been working with, you know, over a year now. And I might have shot one or two videos, so it just really showed like y'all yeah. passion. Yeah. And uh nothing this more coming, You know, yeah. You know, when I came out of jail, I just wanted to grind. I told I told bro, like he was, he was hitting me up when I was up. I told him like when I come home, bro, I'm going mm -hmm. hard with this music, like I'm not playing, bro. <clears throat> Cause I feel like I missed out on opportunities. Like I could have got signed to no limit, whole yeah. bunch of shit, but it is what it is though, you know what I mean? I don't stop nothing. Still got the booth, we just gotta grind. Yeah. Just had to get on our money shit for real, for real to really be able to do what we gotta do. Hell yeah. New it's shit coming up. Grind, man. We always grind. Oh, my bro got locked up. That made me grind even harder. You know what I'm saying? Because we we a group. You know what I mean? It's about five of us. You know what I'm saying? Me, Young Mills. We got Young Mo, mm -hmm. Young Gully. You know what I'm saying? Young Stacks. My boy Stacks in the cut right now. Like we we a group, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody got different situations. You know what I'm saying? So. We try to stick together, you know what I mean? So if, if I see my brother grind, what makes you think I'm not gonna grind? You know what I mean? Okay. He was down, so that made me grind even harder. So when he come home, he have a reason to grind. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, okay. So <clears throat> I guess that kind of ties into this question, but I would say like, what inspires y'all the most to like keep, you know, to keep going, keep making music, keep doing videos? I say my daughter, man. My daughter, like when I had my daughter, that really made me like, grind a little bit harder than what I was, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, before, like, it made me think different, because my grind could be way different than what it is right now, you know what I mean, because I'm in situations right now, you know what I mean, exactly. but <clears throat> at the end of the day, I don't regret nothing, because all that's going to make me do is grind even harder now, Facts. you know what I'm saying, so. You know, for me, it was just like, the love for music and the people, you know, it, like, Newport News is full of hate, it ain't too many people that's going to really sit there and try to convince you to keep doing music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely a Newport you know music. I mean? right? Yeah, so yeah, and so oh, with that being said, I love music. I do music even if I wasn't trying to make it, but mm -hmm. just for niggas like really tell me like you should do something with it. Keep the motivation going. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And we ain't had really no bad feedback. You know what I mean? Like we've been doing this for a minute. Like 20, 2011, 2012. Yeah. I think bro 2010, so Mm -hmm. We actually started rapping and made it like an official group like 2012. We stopped bullshitting and we were like, yo, we gonna go. Do so y'all remember, like, what, what was y'all first song y'all did together? Oh, damn. Oh, man. <laughs> your first song y'all did oh, together. Oh, shit. The yeah, first song first we did together? Yeah, damn, together. Yeah, that was it. Blown the blown perk. Matter of fact, that was still got the song. Perk, we bad fat. You can look that song up. <laughs> yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah, Flame 5, Volume 5. That blue on prayer, that was the first track that we went official on. That was Engineer the first track. I think that was the first track on the Miscraft. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing too. Everybody just going to the studio, pay, lay their verse down, mm -hmm. let the engineer do their thing. Like we engineer everything ourselves, yeah, yeah. everything. So we learned a lot for It's a lot of work with it. We don't just go in the studio and just lay a verse down. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> we in there doing hooks, ad libs, all that. You know okay. what I mean? And it's in the crib, we ain't going to nobody's studio. I mean, I done been to other people's studio, but I do my own shit, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of artists, especially, you know, in the later years now, a lot of people starting to do everything themselves. That's just evolution mm -hmm. happening in music, you know what I'm saying? So we got, you know, it's not just rappers no more. It's rappers that, you know, I shoot videos and I can rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So people have multiple talents. What would you say is like another talent of that y'all have other than creating a song? That's, that's a good question. 
Um, or what? Oh, I know that's not a question. What is something else like if you could harness another skill? Like, what is something maybe y'all looking to do in the future? Oh, I want to own. I want to own a business, man. I want to own like other businesses other than music. You know what I'm saying? I want to do restaurant, fashion. You know what I mean? I want to mm -hmm. invest in some things. I'm trying to be everywhere. I want to be on my suit and tie shit. You know what I mean? Damn right. Pull up with this crazy. You know what I'm saying? Damn right. Yo, like I'm not gonna lie. I want to be a uh, shoot a producer other than rapping. I love beats. That's what really gets me on the record. Of Making beats. beats. Yeah, if, if I can make beats, I'm, I'm telling you. He be coming with the crazy beats. Most of the checks we got, it be coming from his beats, you know what I mean? I'll mm -hmm. write a hook to it, or he'll write a hook to it, or he'll already have a hook to it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I come with beats too, but most of the beats we come with, bro be coming up with the crazy jumps, you know what I mean? And, and like, I come through with some crazy His, shit, his you know? verses be ridiculous, so. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know so it just match up, you already know he gonna kill it. I gotta come with the best. If I get on the track with Mel, I'm not gonna bullshit around, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna put some bars in because I know he gonna come in and put some bars in. So why would I bullshit, you know Damn what I'm saying? Right. So what would y'all say, like you were just talking about, you know, lyrics. What would you say lyric-wise is like some of your deepest lyrics? Like what is some of your deepest lyrics and what is the your motive behind that? Oh, uh, deepest lyrics. I'm gonna just use one track for example. We got this track called Hard Times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's on, um, I think that's on Flame 5, Value 5, ain't it? Yeah, it's on And five, it's five. basically about us grinding. Like, it been a time with me and him. <laughs> I'm talking about in the cold 30 degrees, like trying to make a pluck. Like, that's the like stuff we was on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out there late nights, man, yeah. trying to push it. Yeah, but it is what it is though. Like we got we got records like that. But hard times is a record that you can go up and look up and hear right now on yeah. that piff and you'll see like yo mm -hmm. they spin their hearts out like and it's facts. Like if you we know what you shit. know it's facts. Then niggas ain't here too. We gotta put niggas in their feelings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we ain't so, gonna take it out for Yeah, so just like I was saying, um like you saying your song Hard Times, like what like give me an example of a sentence in that song or something. You know bro said, uh, bro said, you know I gotta grind, gotta get it. I gotta grind like I'm young and hey. <laughs> Hard times and when I'm on the block. Hard, hard time times serving chickens Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Hey, you know what I'm saying? When you hear shit like that, see, people that know us, you feel what I'm saying? That know us from when we was out there, they understand that. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But people that's looking on the outside in. They won't understand it if they live in the same life. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Right. If yeah. they wasn't living the same life or they wasn't in the fear with anything of that of that nature, they not gonna understand it. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So when you hear that, you might hear some people say, damn. Yeah. And then you might hear some people say, What are you talking about? Yeah, but so everybody got their own opinion. It. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta explain it. Yeah, yeah, real talk. So um what do y'all think is gonna be coming next from y'all? I know y'all got the um mixtape coming out. Uh, what's what's next after that? I got a uh, solo mixtape I'm working on back on the scene. He got yeah. a solo mixtape he working on. Yeah, that's okay. my solo mixtape. I got three tracks already done in that. I ain't dropping yet though, because I want to finish my mixtape before I drop any. So right. it ain't going to take me long to finish it. I just, for real, for I've been bullshitting. I've been, I just beat the case, so I'm trying to get this case out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Get mm -hmm. do what I got to do with that. Well, congrats so on that. Once I get it out of the way, man, it's going to be. Back to, back to the grind, man. But for real, for you might hear another mixtape from me and him before you hear our solo mixtape mm -hmm. because our solo mixtapes, we get so deep into it. Yeah. Them shits might come out like, what, the summertime probably? Yeah, probably after, after my daughter's birthday. But one thing I need to be looking for, yeah, when he say that mixtape, yeah, yeah, y'all might as well look for that too because my birthday coming up, so you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a turn up. We got to go crazy on that. You yeah. know what I mean? So, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be magic, man. For sure, be magic. For sure. We different from a lot of rappers, so I feel like a lot of people gonna automatically be immune. You know what I'm saying? Go, they gonna attach just because of what we doing. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of artists that's doing what we doing as far as how we doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like interviews and videos. We came back to back with videos, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't just right. let that chill. Bro. You know what I'm exactly. saying? We bust right back. Then we bust right back again. Uh -huh. If you don't like the type of music we make, understandable, but to 
say we not lyrical, that's a lot. Yeah. And what type of music? And that's what I like. What type of music, music would y'all say y'all make? We make everything, man. Diverse, man. We, we, we diverse. We make everything, man. We but we diverse, but we speak about what's actually going on on yeah, every diverse record. Mm -hmm. The real. So if you could yeah. put, I know nobody like to put their music in a box. Nobody likes to put a label in. But if you, if you could, what would you call your style? Ooh. I ain't never thought about that, bro. That's a good <laughs> right? question right there. I would say unique, man. I got a unique style. Yeah. The reason why I say that, in my personal opinion, is because I can give you some old school, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I can switch it up and give you some real. Like, right. I can switch it up and give you some of this new school we got right now. You feel what I'm saying? What's going on, niggas hype doing all this now. I can do that too. But I can still give you that old school, back in the day, chill, mellow, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, one, yeah, one you know thing I mean? about us, like, we actually know how to rap. So we can give you anything, anything. you ask for, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. A lot of people can't do that. Yeah. yeah, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like you like can tell us to sound like stuff. whatever you want us to sound like, and that's what we gonna sound like. Exactly. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah and I think that comes with uh, experience. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's like trying to sound like whoever out right now that's corny, and it ain't gonna get you nowhere. And we got a lot of energy with each other. So if he if he do song, if he feel like he do song wrong, he gonna come to me and be like, bro, I just sound. You know what I mean? The same way I would do with him. So I'm saying, help like, bro, I just sound, check me out real quick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right, so um, my next question is gonna be, as far as, you know, there's other artists in Newport News. There's other artists around us. Who would you see as a, who would you say is another artist that y'all that got y'all attention right now? You like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's some artists in in our city or in our area that that you know grab y'all attention? My boy Rick, I say Rick Rogers. Man. The only reason why I say that's because I've been dealing with him kind of personally through one of my other people, so you can let me and Bruno. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I would say Rick. Yeah. Uh, me man, I, I say my boy Mayday man. That boy really spit. Okay. Every yeah, like really spit for real. Yeah, and check out Mayday too. He on SoundCloud. He be going stupid. I be listening to him. If I do a feature with him too, so that's kind of song be looking out for that. Yeah, he might he kind of underrated, but he really be spitting up for real. Mm -hmm. Real talk. <clears throat> Anything? Anybody that y'all want to shout out? Yeah, I want to shout out my nigga She Hella Bands. Okay. Shout out Ma. <laughs> right. Word, man. Shout out my homie Lab Breast, man. He gave us the first opportunity to perform. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He gave us our first free beat. You know what I mean? Like, shouts out to him. You shout know what I mean? Shout out to RJ. Yeah, RJ shut down. They shut down, but they gave shout us a them. yeah. They gave us a shot. What was, what was RJ? Is this like a studio? Nah, it's it was a club. Like a bar, oh, okay. So yeah. You know, it's for like producers and rappers to come do and promote their music and perform and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. What was that at? It was right off Denby, right off Denby. Denby, right over there by you, really. Yeah, yeah. Right by the McDonald's. You ain't have to go through no hassle, yeah, no yeah. pain, <laughs> no nothing. You know, they really just want to see, you know, some young artists win. You know? Yeah. We used to go there every Thursday. We used to walk, bro. Like, that's how crazy the grind is. <laughs> yeah. We used to walk to that gym. Whatever it takes. Right? Like, our first yeah. performance, yeah, it was so crazy. And that was the first time we performed with RJ's. And our first performance was so crazy. Yeah. Really? We got love from people we didn't even know. Like, that's something. That's when we knew, like, yeah. The record was for the love, matter of fact. And that yeah, might be yeah. on the next joint. Yeah. We might put that on the next joint. Yeah. So. How long ago was that? That y'all did your first performance? Well, it was about like a, a year ago, one in 2015. Summertime 2015. Okay. Yeah. We got a little buzz off that. That's what's up. We got a, uh, this mixtape that's about to drop, boy. Yeah, yeah money collision, man. Right? It's gonna have that hit Ocho Cinco, shot yeah. by Tenacious B. That need a bag, shot by Tenacious B. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. So, and we yeah. cool, man. I ain't even, you see the beauty. Like, you know, that's just crazy. <laughs> One thing I want our fans to know is that we appreciate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate everything because not only are we doing this for us, we're doing this for our family. We got family. You know what I'm 
know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, I'm trying to make sure everybody's straight. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to eat. I agree 100%. So, what was y'all motivation, not motivation, but what was y'all intent behind Money Collision? You know what I'm saying? When I was making the cover and stuff, I could see how everything kind of went together with the money collision. I mean, it's kind of straightforward, mm -hmm. but you know, what made y'all pick that name specifically? What, you know what I'm saying, I mean, what made y'all think of that? Well, since we came back, I've been, I've been mostly been on a grind for money. So a lot of records, like four, five records on the joint is about money. Mm -hmm. And like, we just come in with, Oh, and music on this one for real. So that's the collision right there. That's uh -huh. money collision. Okay. And, and I'm telling you, like when you hear the mixtape, I'm telling you it's gonna be crazy. It ain't like nothing you heard out here. And we ain't make the name while we was doing the mixtape. After we finished the mixtape, mm -hmm. we sat back and listened to the tracks we wanted to put together, and that's when we came. And that's when y'all came up with the name. Because the one thing people need to know, we do everything together. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to the music, mm -hmm. everything is going to happen through males and through young people. When it comes down to DJ players, you know what that's I mean? What I'm saying. So that's how that's going to go. You know what I'm saying? But we, everybody doing their thing, dude. Everybody. Shouts out to Gully. Yeah, everybody got a partner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Molly here in Philly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, I guess my next question is going to be. I know we was talking about, you know, like y'all first song y'all did and stuff, but we gonna kind of go back to that area. Um, starting out, you know what I'm saying, before, before rap, you know what I'm saying, before y'all was even rappers, you know what I'm saying, before you even thought it was possible, who influenced y'all in the music industry? 50. Yeah, 50. I was about to say that. 50, bro, that, yeah, yeah. gosh, bro. When I was younger, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't even worried about rap or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, but when I heard 50, that's when, that's when I turned up. You Word. know what I'm saying, like all around music and all that. Was it like a certain song that just like turned y'all up or like? It was an old Get Rich and Die trying to. I was about to say like the movie, y'all was watching the movie. <laughs> yeah. I see the movie, but. I heard that goddamn that uh, on that give us that trying to um, the G unit. What? We in here. Oh man, I was like, what? <laughs> like, that young nigga though. It, you know it was when nobody is aggressive as him at that time. Like 50, he yeah. was on some stuff like he ain't care how you felt, and that's how we is. Like we got a lot of respect, but at the same time we gonna do what we wanna do. We ain't trying to be buddy buddy with nobody. His business is business, and we fuck with you, we fuck with you. But that's how 50 was. You know what I mean? Straight business, right? Straight to the point. That's kind of how we is, and we just. I feel it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we already set with our team. We good. Yeah. You know what I'm I don't mind no business with nobody though. You know what I'm saying? You trying to do a track or something. Getting that money. You know what I'm saying? You I need a bag. Money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> need a bag. Yeah, a bag. <laughs> and we ain't right. trying to flex on nobody and either show us love, we show you love. It exactly. is what it is. That's another thing. We really out here. We ain't talk the shit we talk about, we done did or we don't know about. It. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We know all about. It. Everything we really do, we do, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like we just talking anything just to make a front on people. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're not doing that. We got background, you know what I'm saying? So anybody can go out and holler, you know what I'm saying? Just in case, but that's what we do. So the music thing is what we own, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to make. So that's okay. how it is, you know what I mean? You already know y'all can holler at me on the ground at Young and Shine. Y-O-U-N-G-I-N-S-S-H-I-N-E, you know what I mean? Follow me up there, I'm up there. You can hit me up on the book. Just type in Young and I should pop up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can hit me on the ground. Cut up mills, K-U-T-U-P, M-E-L-Z. You already know what it is. Money Collision coming soon. Thanks, good. We're looking out for another single to drop too. I ain't even about to tell y'all what it's gonna be because we ain't discussed that yet, but just know another single where to drop. You know what I mean? <laughs> just know, man, that mixtape coming. It's DGYS, man. We on the top, we on, the, we on our way, man. We ain't trying to push nobody out the way, but we coming, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just know that, man. We coming, we ain't playing no games, man. Straight like that. Yeah, that's it. Shout out to Tenacious too. Shout out to Tenacious. Tenacious. Shout out to him. We make it work out hard, man. Yeah.
Nobody shooting yeah. videos like he's shooting videos right now. First interview with DGYS, Young and Young Mills. <laughs> y'all remember that stamp that we y'all put it in?